Welcome to the C++ file system library. This library provides modern file and directory operations in C++ 17 and beyond. Let's dive into the C++ file system library. It is part of the C++ 17 standard library, offering portable file system operations. You can find it in the file system header. The namespace for this library is standard colon colon file system. Here's an example code snippet. First, include the file system header and the iostream header. Create a namespace alias fs for convenience, pointing to the standard colon colon file system namespace. Inside the main function, let's get the current path using fs colon colon path and store it in current path. Then, print the current path to the console using standard colon colon coot. Now let's discuss the key components of the file system library. The first component is path. It is the core class representing file paths and provides platform independent path handling. For example, you can declare a path like this, fs colon colon path my path equals data forward slash config dot json. The second component is directory entry. It represents a directory entry, such as a file or folder, and contains metadata about that entry. For example, fs colon colon directory entry entry, curly braces, my path curly braces. The third component is directory iterator. It is used to iterate through directory contents in a non-recursive manner. For example, a for loop with auto ampersand entry colon fs colon colon directory iterator curly braces dir curly braces. The fourth component is recursive directory iterator. It recursively iterates through directories, automatically traversing subdirectories. For example, a for loop with auto ampersand entry colon fs colon colon recursive directory iterator curly braces dir curly braces. Let's explore how to work with paths in the C++ file system. Here are some common path operations. Path concatenation can be done using the forward slash operator, like path1 forward slash path2. To get the file name, use the file name method. To get the extension, use the extension method. To get the parent path, use the parent path method. To remove the file name, use the remove file name method. To replace the extension, use the replace extension method. You can check if a path is absolute using the isAbsolute method, and check if it is relative using the isRelative method. Here is an example of how to create and manipulate paths. We create a fs colon colon path variable named file path and assign it the value data forward slash config.json. Then we print the file name extension and parent path of the file path to the console. Let's explore file operations with the C++ file system library. The function exists takes a path as input and checks if a file or directory exists. The function is regular file, takes a path and checks if the specified path is a regular file. The function is directory checks if a path is a directory. The function file size takes a path and returns the file size in bytes. The function copy takes two paths, from and to, and copies files or directories from the source path to the destination path. The function remove takes a path and deletes a file or an empty directory. The function rename takes two paths, old and new, and renames or moves a file or directory from the old path to the new path. Here's an example of processing a file. The function process file takes a constant reference to a fs colon colon path named file path. It checks if the file exists using the exists function. If the file does not exist, an error message is printed to the console. Otherwise, it checks if the path is a regular file using the isRegularFile function. If it is, it prints the file size in bytes to the console. Let's learn about directory operations with the C++ file system library. Create directory takes a path and creates a single directory. 
Create directories takes a path and creates the directory and all parent directories. Remove all takes a path and removes the directory and all its contents. Directory iterator iterates through the directory contents. Recursive directory iterator recursively iterates through the directories. Current path gets the current working directory. Here's an example of listing a directory. The function list directory takes a constant reference to a fs colon colon path named dirpath. It checks if the directory exists using the exists function and checks if it's actually a directory using the is directory function. Then, it iterates through the directory using a for loop and the directory iterator. Inside the loop, it prints the file name of each entry to the console. Let's see some directory iteration examples. First, the basic directory iteration. Include the file system and iostream headers. Create a namespace alias fs. The function list files takes a constant reference to a fs colon colon path named dirpath. It iterates through the directory using a for loop and a directory iterator. Inside the loop, it prints the path of each entry to the console. Also, if the current entry is a regular file, it prints its size in bytes. Second, recursive directory iteration. Again, include the necessary headers and create the namespace alias. The function list files recursive takes a constant reference to a fs colon colon path named dirpath. It iterates through the directory recursively using a for loop and a recursive directory iterator. It calculates the indentation level based on the depth of each entry and prints the file name with appropriate indentation. Let's explore file manipulation with the C++ file system library. Common file operations include copying files and directories, moving and renaming files, deleting files and directories, getting file status and permissions, and creating symbolic links. Here's an example showing these operations. The function file operations copies a file named source.txt to destination.txt, renames a file from old.txt to new.txt, deletes a file named temp.txt, and creates a symbolic link from target.txt to link.txt. Let's discuss error handling in the C++ file system library. Most file system functions throw standard colon colon file system colon colon file system underscore error exceptions. Error code versions are available with the standard colon colon error underscore code parameter. Error codes can be checked with ec.value and ec.message. You can use try-catch blocks for exception handling. Note that the error code versions do not throw exceptions. Here is an example of safe file operation. Using the error code approach, a standard colon colon error underscore code variable named ec is declared. The file size function is called with p and ec. If ec has a value, then the corresponding error message is printed to the console. Using exception handling, fs colon colon rename is called inside a try block. If a fs colon colon file system underscore error exception is thrown, it is caught and the error message is printed to the console. Let's go over some best practices for working with the C++ file system library. Always handle errors. Use error code parameters or try-catch blocks to handle file system exceptions properly. Check before operations. Verify file or directory existence and permissions before performing operations. Use path normalization. Normalize paths with canonical to resolve symbolic links and relative paths. Consider performance. Cache directory iterators when processing large directories to improve performance. Thank you for exploring the C++ file system library. If you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. Visit codelucky.com for more such useful content.